What's up, theme park history? Today we're at Universal Orlando, and I'm going to give you some of the most festive things that you can do for the holidays this season. So let's get started. First up, Islands of Adventure. Now, the first thing to do is to celebrate Christmas in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Hogsmeade. Now, whether you're a fan of the boy wizard or not, you'll be engulfed in the holiday magic that comes to life inside the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The village of Hogsmeade is perfectly decorated with charming garland and lights as the students of Hogwarts serenade muggle guests with classic Christmas carols. You'll also be able to enjoy seasonal food and drinks while you're there. And be sure to grab a nice hot cup of butterbeer. And while enjoying your butterbeer, be sure to just sit around Hogsmeade, taking all of the decor and the vibes and listen to the frog choir sing some holiday tunes. And to cap off your Harry Potter Christmas, you'll be treated with a spectacular projection show to showcase the magical spirit of the holidays right on the Hogwarts castle. Now, one of my favorite things to do at Universal Islands of Adventure during the Christmas season is to just hang out in Whoville. Plus their interactions are top notch, which is something that I truly enjoy during Grinchmas. And the best part about it is that it is included with your theme park ticket or your annual pass. Don't forget to also watch the retelling of How the Grinch Stole Christmas live on the stage at the Universal Orlando Resort. It is one of the most magical shows to watch and it truly gets you in the holiday spirit. It features music recorded by the Mannheim Steamroller and a score composed by Chip Davis. It's something that you cannot miss while you're at Islands of Adventure during the holidays. The next thing you do for the holidays at Islands of Adventure is to have breakfast with the Grinch. I mean, who wouldn't want to come face to face with the man himself? The Grinch, as he likes to put it on the movies. Breakfast with the Grinch and other Seuss Landing characters is a separately ticketed experience, and it happens on select days at the Circus McGurkis Cafe, Stupendous. And you must have already paid for your theme park admission in order to participate. The Grinch and Friends character breakfast usually starts in the early to mid portion of November and usually continues to the end of December. And the cost for this experience is $41.99 plus tax for adults and $26.99 plus tax for children. Now, the next thing that you can do, which is quite new within the last couple of years, is the holiday tour at Universal Orlando Resort. Now, if you're a fan of doing behind the scenes tours at Universal, then you'll love this popular Christmas experience. And according to Universal, the Holiday Tour is an exclusive guided tour of Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, and it's available on select dates from the middle of November through January 1st of next year. What's included with the Holiday Tour at Universal Orlando is that you get to enjoy hot cocoa with the Grinch, you get to meet Santa, you get priority access to one attraction, reserve seating for the Grinchmas Hula Day Spectacular, you get to enjoy small plates, you'll get to end your day with an exclusive after hour showing of the magic of Christmas at the Hogwarts Castle. This is a great deal for you to do, and it currently starts at $79.99. Now we are at Universal Studios, so let's just go over and see what you can do there for the holidays. The first thing you can do is to watch the Universal Holiday featuring Macy's. And I'm so happy to announce that this fan favorite Universal Holiday event is back this year. This is absolutely one of my favorite things to do at Universal Studios for Christmas. Not only is the parade top notch, but you get to feel as if you're truly in New York City watching the actual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. During this parade, you'll get to see gigantic balloons floating in the air with the characters from Despicable Me, Shrek, and Madagascar. You'll even get to see the man himself, Santa Claus. The next thing that I love doing at Universal Studios during the holidays is to enjoy Christmas in Diagon Alley. Not only is Diagon Alley decorated in the most festive garland and Christmas lights, you get to also enjoy a nice hot butterbeer here while enjoying holiday tunes from the famous Celestina Warbeck and her Banshees. It's also just a nice vibe in there. It's very cozy. If you've been a diagonal, you know what I mean? It's like, it feels like it's hugging you. And there's no better place to be than to be in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter diagonal during the holidays. It's truly magical. The next thing you can do at Universal Studios is to meet Santa Claus. And this year, you will have the chance to meet the man himself with the opportunity to receive one My Universal Photos digital download. 
I believe that every holiday event must give you the opportunity to meet the big guy. And Universal does deliver on that requirement. So make sure you stop by and say hello to Santa and let him know what you want to get for Christmas. The next thing to do at Universal Studios is to go on a holiday Christmas tree hunt. This is something that you can do to create your own holiday tradition at Universal. You can just sit there and search the Christmas trees throughout both the theme parks at Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. And you can also make your way through the shops of City Walk, the restaurants of City Walk, to see how everyone has done their own Christmas trees. Be sure to take lots of photos of them. The next thing you can do at Universal Studios for the holidays is to visit the Holiday Tribute Store. It is such an incredible, incredible shop that is themed to the max with whatever your Christmas heart's desire is. In previous years, there were rooms dedicated to the Grinch's lair, the Yule Ball from the Harry Potter films. You even got to see Earl the Squirrel. And if you're a true Universal fan, you know who Earl the Squirrel is roaming about the shop. There was a naughty and nice list in Santa's workshop. It was just incredible. And you could spend hours just looking through everything that was in that shop. And speaking of shopping, the next thing I like to do at Universal Studios is to go Christmas shopping. And you may not know it, but both Universal Studios in Islands of Adventure have a year-round Christmas shop. They both have some incredible holiday ornaments and decor that you can bring a little bit of universal holiday magic back to your home and it is called the port of entry christmas shop in eyes of adventure and the park plaza holiday shop in universal studios so definitely stop by there and get all of your holiday knickknacks for the season now this next thing should be for everybody and it is to eat all of the holiday food at universal studios and what i like about this is that you can create your own little christmas food festival at universal orlando by tasting your way around both theme parks resorts and city walk and some of my favorite items from the past year have included the hot chocolate bomb, a seasonal donut from Voodoo Donut. No matter what it is, just try to find some of the seasonal food while you're at Universal and just enjoy yourself. Now, the next thing to do at Universal is to end your day with the Mannheim Steamroller. This is the perfect way to remember your whole day and reflect as you listen to the incredible Mannheim Steamroller playing some of the best holiday music ever created. Now let's head over to the Universal Orlando Resort Hotels because they do amazing things during the holidays. The first thing you can do is to enjoy a Thanksgiving or Christmas Day brunch and dinner at the resort hotels. Each of the resorts at Universal offers a meal for breakfast or brunch or dinner during Thanksgiving Day and Christmas Day. So you don't want to miss that. The next thing you can do is to watch the Christmas tree lighting ceremonies. This occurs at Portofino Bay, the Hard Rock Hotel, and Cabana Bay. It is so much fun. This is something that a lot of people don't know that they can do, and most of the tree lighting ceremonies are free for you to enjoy. The next thing you can do is to listen to carolers sing it in the lobby of Portofino Bay. I love Lowe's Portofino Bay Resort, and if you've ever been in their lobby, you know that it is truly magical and it just makes you feel like you're in a small town village of Italy. Now that we know all of the things you could do at Universal Orlando, let's go through those tips. The first thing you want to do is to map out your day before you get to Universal Orlando. This is a good way to make sure you're able to enjoy all of your must-do items. My next tip for you is to choose one Universal Orlando park and start early. Now, Christmas Day can be kind of tricky because it's going to be busy. You can do both parts, but definitely start with the park that is the most special to you, that you want to see the most Christmas activities and get on some of your must-do rides and attractions. The next tip is to get your Universal Orlando Express Pass before you get there. So if you know, hey, I'm thinking about going to Universal the week of Christmas on Christmas Day, you need to get your Express Pass today because it's gonna be busy and your Express Pass is gonna be so needed. And if you're not into the whole ride thing and you're just fine doing a ride here or there, then an Express Pass, you may not need that. The next tip is to stay at a Universal Orlando Resort Hotel. I know they can be pricey, but if you can make it work, then I definitely recommend doing this. Not only can you enter the parks early, but if you stay in a higher cost resort, you'll be able to use your room key as an Express Pass. Not only that, you'll be right there to enjoy the incredible holiday meals that each hotel is offering at Universal Orlando Resort. My next tip for you is to have Christmas dinner outside of peak times. Now consider enjoying your holiday meal before lunchtime or right before the dinner rush. This will allow you to take your time 
time and enjoy the celebrations with your loved one over a delicious feast. My next tip for you is to celebrate Christmas at Universal the day before or a week before. If you can come the week before or a few days after Christmas Day, you'll be able to do many of the things listed in this guide without the crowd. All that matters is that you'll be with the ones you love at one of the most enchanted places on earth. It doesn't matter what day you celebrate as long as you understand why you're celebrating. I just hope that you have a wonderful time at Universal. And until next time, happy park hopping hipsters. Oh,